we meet at a time when the world community is taking stock of how we can solve this crisis. We meet three years after the historic Paris Agreement, which filled us all with hope, and that hope is still alive. And in this meeting, we have the task of completing a, a rule book and uh, developing agreement on transparency standards, and uh, we have, must work on a number of other agenda items. But we meet also at a time when Mother Nature is speaking ever more loudly, warning us that this climate crisis is getting worse, and it is getting worse faster than we are yet innovating and developing and implementing solutions to the climate crisis. Today, we around the world will put another 110 million tons of man-made heat-trapping global warming pollution into the atmosphere. Indonesians know the threat that is faced by Jakarta as the land subsides and the sea level rises. Many other communities, also the low-lying island nations in the Pacific, uh, part of Indonesia, some 1,500 islands of Indonesia are in danger of disappearing. But there is good news. There are solutions now. Ten years ago, we could dream of these solutions and we could be encouraged by the engineers who promised us that they would soon be available. Now they are available. And the electricity produced from the sun and the wind is cheaper than electricity being produced from coal. So we must stop building new, dirty, coal-burning plants all around the world, including in Indonesia, including in Vietnam, including in all countries. Because the way to create more jobs is now to accelerate this transition to a sustainable economy. I am very proud to have the opportunity to work with you and with the Climate Reality Project in Indonesia to move policies in the right direction. We are moving forward. We must move forward faster. But I will close by reminding you that anyone who believes that we as human beings, whether Indonesians or Americans or Chinese or Norwegians, we as, if you doubt that we as human beings have the political will to face this challenge and solve this crisis, please remember that political will is itself a renewable resource. Thank you very much.